A 25-page version of the report says President Putin ordered a Russian cyber warfare campaign to influence the U.S. presidential election. The U.S. Director of National Intelligence and the heads of the CIA and FBI were in New York Friday to present to President-elect Donald Trump a longer classified version of the investigation that concludes Russia tried to hack the election to swing it Trump's way. After the briefing, Trump acknowledged cyber warfare is a big problem for the U.S., whether it's our government, organizations, associations or businesses, we need to aggressively combat and stop cyber attacks. But Trump also insisted the alleged Russian hacks had, quote, absolutely no effect on his election victory. Earlier on Friday, he told the New York Times newspaper that the focus on Russian hacking is a political witch hunt. Trump's stance on the alleged Russian hacking puts him at odds with the rival Democratic Party, whose candidate, Hillary Clinton, he beat in November's election. It also pits him against many members of his own Republican Party. Time to be an adult. You're president. you got to do something. Show us what you have. Trump says he knows more about the hacking than even the intelligence agencies do, but outgoing Vice President Joe Biden said on U.S. public television, if that's true, Trump needs to put up or shut up. There is no evidence that they actually tamper with voting booths or tamper with voting rolls, but there is clear evidence that they, in fact, uh, were engaged in activities designed to try to impact on the outcome of the election. In his statement released Friday afternoon, Trump said he'll appoint a team to come up with a cyber defense plan within 90 days of taking office. After he's sworn in, Trump says he'll make U.S. security his number one priority. John Terrett, CGTN, New York.